Medical education is the fundamental basis on which excellent healthcare is built, and it is vital in shaping the students of the future. The integration of technology has led to advances in medicine where you can see safer surgical operations and ultimately better patient outcomes. But just think about this. None of these advances would have been possible without a strong underlying knowledge of anatomy. So many of you today may have studied anatomy at some stage or know someone who has. And unless you're one of the lucky ones who enjoyed learning the names of the 200 bones in the human body, anatomy can be very difficult. And then it can be even harder to apply this anatomy knowledge into a clinical setting. Anatomy is a fascinating yet difficult subject, and what a lot of classrooms are lacking today is stimulating this fascination. Yet, if you blend anatomy with innovative technology and captivating 3D graphics, then you can inspire wonder and curiosity of anatomy within students, and then you can enhance medical education, and the future of medicine looks really exciting. So, at 3D for Medical, we are transforming medical education and how people learn about their bodies. We use technology where you can interact with a human body. And our story is very unique, and what we do has never been done before, so I'd like to give you a brief overview of our journey and how we got to where we are today, which is the world's leading developer of medical education platforms. So, we started in 2004, where we were the world's largest producer of a library of stock medical images. We had over 18,000 images. However, these didn't just start from 2D illustrations. We actually started modeling them in 3D first to make them as realistic as possible. And then these images were, were sold to the likes of Time magazine, the National Geographic, Scientific American, and large medical companies such as Stryker. So this is where our expertise in 3D modeling began and grew. However, when the full force of the recession hit in 2009, our CEO and founder of the company, John Moore, decided that he actually needed to reinvent the whole company. And he came to the conclusion that what defined him as a person and the company is innovation, and that coming up with new ideas, designs, markets, and solutions is what he wanted at the center of the company's culture. So, the release of the iPad came in 2010, and this is when John saw his next market opportunity. There was an increasing demand to create apps for the new App Store. And we also noticed that the student of today is very different, that their native language is digital, their preferred medium is digital, and their world is digital. A medical education must respond to this. So we decided to change our direction, and we embarked on a new journey of creating medical education applications. We created 105 medical applications, and each one of these products became the top-selling app in its category. We have over 12 million users of these applications worldwide, and we've sold as far afield as Cambodia, Zambia, Hong Kong, and Australia. Our most successful app was Essential Anatomy. It is the best-selling anatomy app of all time. And what students find very difficult in understanding, in when they're studying anatomy, is how to understand the complexity of the human body relying solely on 2D illustrations. And what essential anatomy brought was this ability to delve deep into anatomy and explore anatomy like never before. So on the left here, is what studying anatomy looked like before we came onto market. And on the right is what studying anatomy looks like today. However, innovation has always been in 3D for Medical's DNA, and we decided that we needed to take a further step. 
and to build a learning educational platform like never before. So we built upon what we had with essential anatomy and we added more educational and learning features. We added the ability to be able to create content and share it using the model. And we also enhanced the level of detail by doubling the number of structures that are available in the platform. And we call this platform Complete Anatomy. Sophie will help me show you a live demonstration of Complete Anatomy and what it looks like. So this is it. It's the human body modeled in 3D. And it is all rendered in real time, which means that I can rotate it freely and I can zoom in. And no matter how far I zoom in, the high resolution textures will always still look amazing. You can select any structure in the human body, like the mandible here, and you can get information on that structure. You can also choose to hide or fade a structure, and you can still rotate to get amazing detail. And here I can see the detail of the teeth sitting within the mandible. So you can turn on any system you want using the menu along the bottom. I can turn on arteries or a digestive system. And we even have these pre-made cuts within the organs that make it easier for learning. So if you remove a layer of the stomach, you can see the internal anatomy as well. So this is what essential anatomy had as well. So it had the, mo the human body modeled, but we've added more educational tools. So if I turn on layers of muscle, for example. They're all in levels, so it's quicker and easier to see any muscle in the human body very easily. And I select any muscle in the human body, I can show you some of these tools. So they're here on the left-hand side. One of them is motion. And this shows me what movement that muscle actually helps carry out. So Sophia selected one of the triceps, and you can see here when the elbow is pulled back, the muscle is highlighting yellow to say that it's carrying out that motion. And the groundbreaking feature of this is that it's not a video, that we can still interact with the model here, so it's the actual model moving in real time. And this is only the start of where we are going with these real-time motions. Our goal is to have a living, breathing model with a beating heart and breathing lungs. We also have a nerves button. So this makes it quicker and easier for students to learn about muscle innervation. So here I can see what nerve innervates that muscle. I can even select parts of that nerve and it'll tell me here where it came from. And we also have the same for arterial supply, quickly showing me what artery supplies that muscle and where it came from back to the heart. So as well as having a model there that you can select structures and these educational tools to learn anatomy, you can also able to interact with it and manipulate it just like in a real dissection. So Sophie, if you just zoom in at the thigh. Okay, we can open up our tools on the right hand side. And one of these tools is a cut tool. So here we can virtually dissect through the muscles of the leg, just like in a real dissection. And now I can see the relationship between those muscles. As well as this, I can also add pathology. So if you pick a fracture tool, we can create a fracture on the femur. And the beauty of this is that it's not an image that I've actually manipulated the model in real time. So this is only a glimpse into what complete anatomy can do. And you can see that we made a transition from being a 3D model into a learning platform for medical education. However, we also started to notice that, there, that the emergence of mobile technologies has also caused an academic shift within universities, and that lecturers and educators are moving away from traditional textbooks and want to move into a digital environment. Globally, we see schools and universities adopting iPads instead of the traditional textbooks. And with this in mind, and with this observation, led us to create a very powerful tool within the app called the Lecture Builder. So the Lecture Builder is where educators can create custom lectures and send them to their, to their students. Here are some of the example lectures that we have created with some of the top leading anatomy lecturers and experts in the world. 
So as a student, I can go into any one of these lectures, let's say the first one here for the muscular system, and I can see how it's broken down on the left-hand side, and I can pick any topic I want to study. So let's say I press a recording. So these are recordings you can make using the model. I'll just need to load. And here I can listen to my professor teaching me about the different types of muscles. The most important thing about these recordings is that they remain interactive, however. So, Sophie, if you press pause just by a single tap on the screen, you can rotate the models. This is Sophie actually interacting with the model here. This isn't part of the recording. So she's still able to interact with the model. And that's what's key, is that we always want the student to be able to interact and learn when they want to. We can change, we can go into a screen. So a screen is like an interactive atlas. So Grey's Anatomy turned into an interactive screen here. And you can see we've added text boxes or even drawn on the model. And we also have added study notes. And then we also have quizzes. So you can change, test your knowledge using one of our quizzes as well. So you can create your own custom quiz. And here are your multiple choice questions. You can put in an answer and you can hit submit. And work your way through a quiz. And at the end, it'll tell you how you did, which wasn't very good. <laughs> So anatomy has been taught the same way for the past 100 years. Most students get to see a cadaver and then they rely on images which are completely two-dimensional to study the complexity of the human body. And what Complete Anatomy and Lecture Builder are doing is moving people into the future of education where anatomy can be explored and discovered and not just seen as an image. Um, the the power of complete anatomy is very powerful to anyone who sees it in use. However, we're planning on bringing much more uh, features as well, so the possibilities are endless. This year we're alone, we're bringing in physiology, pathology, and radiology. And with the advancements in virtual, augmented, or mixed realities, the sky is the limit for complete anatomy and 3D for medical. And I'm really excited to show you this next video, which shows you an insight into one of the projects that we have on the horizon. Thank you.